we've been talking for years about going to Ireland. My uh, my family, my dad and my you know my dad's side of the family were from Ireland, um, and we were going to all go. And then when I we went to we went to Naples in the spring, and we had problems with the airlines, and we just had more problems with flying. And my husband said, you know, I really don't want to go. And, and I'd already started planning it. And he said, why don't you, my youngest son, Robert, uh, was very interested in going. So he said, why don't you and Robert go to Ireland? And I thought, geez, you know, um, in Ireland, you have to drive on the other side of the road and, and all that. And I thought, oh my God, how am I going to do that? And I just thought, I really want to go. This is such a good opportunity. So I decided, you know, to to just try it. So I planned the trip and I planned, uh, I did a lot of reading and uh, rented the car and the whole, the whole nine yards. And I didn't want to be in um, a coach type setup with other people. I, I, I am not real patient with, with having someone else always telling me you know, where to be and where to go and all that. I didn't think we would like that. So I kind of planned out a trip that I thought we would like. And I, I uh, looked at a lot of Rick Steve's information, and it was, he does a lot, let me put it that way. I think he's kind of crazy, but uh, it, it was a lot, a lot in one day. You know, we were always on the move. And uh, I, I did the, the driving. The, the, you know, he said, don't, don't drive in Dublin. Well, of course, where am I picking up my car? In Dublin. So I picked up the car. And <laughs> the, first, uh, the first trip back to the hotel, um, or to get back to our bed and breakfast, we got back there, and, you know, we're still alive. And I said, you know, I think I, I, think I want to go a little farther, uh, because the next day we were going to be leaving Dublin and going off into the countryside. And I said, you know, I'd just, just like to drive a little bit more so that I feel confident uh, that I can drive. And, and I looked over at him, and he looked kind of pale. Um, but we did it. He was a great navigator. We did have a GPS. And uh, I don't think we would have done very well without that. But uh, Robert manned the GPS, and uh, we just went away all around the southern part of the country. And it, oh, it was just one of the most wonderful trips. We had such a great time, <clears throat> met a lot of great people, and I've taken, I took over a thousand pictures. So that leads me to my next topic, which I guess would be that I'm painting for a show for the Keenan Center. Uh, another, another kind of scary thing, all, everything that happens in my life, I always, I always feel like, oh my gosh, can I do that? But I, I was asked if I would like to have a show at the Keenan Center, uh, which is a dream of mine. But when the opportunity really came along, I asked myself, you know, the normal things that some people I think would think is like, oh, will anybody come? You know, how how many can I can I paint that many paintings? So um, I did. I uh, asked another artist, Jody Dean from the North Tonawanda area, she's, uh, she's very well known and, and uh, does a lot of shows, and uh, she also does transparent watercolor, so she was very excited, that's also a dream of hers, and so we are working, we would like to have 35, at least 35 new paintings apiece that people haven't seen before. Um, you saw that Irish pub there that, that probably will be one of the ones, so don't tell anybody that showed you that. Um, uh, well, thank you for watching me paint and listening to my stories. Uh, I, hope, I hope my stories inspire you to try things, and, and if you're afraid of something, certainly don't be afraid, because my, my whole life has been a story of just trying something anyway, regardless of how I felt. And, and I just feel like I've been so blessed by wonderful things happening because I've taken chances. Um, and I hope that you'll see this painting either here or maybe out in, in Market City or something. Thank you.